everybody before we could start with this conference today we would first like to start this conference with our ceo's message and uh, before i would like to invite mr shiv kumar on the stage i would like to share a few words about him so shiv kumar pr is the founder and ceo of maven silicon he is the responsible for the company's vision business and technology Before Shiv Kumar started with this Maven Silicon he has worked in various industries like electrical engineering academia and semiconductors for now more than 25 years so before founding Maven Silicon he worked in the top ETA companies like Synopsys Cadence and Siemens ETA as a verification consultant so let's give it up for Shiv Kumar and i would like to have you on the stage please. good morning everyone Once again, I'm super excited to meet you all in person. And uh, there are many engineers, they are attending our live session. Today, I'm going to talk about an entrepreneur, a great entrepreneur who has done an extraordinary thing to our industry. His name is Maurice Chang, Dr. Maurice Chang. why i want to share his entrepreneurial journey with you for two main reasons if you are thinking like how you can build your career further you can learn a lot from his entrepreneurial journey that is one thing most of you people are experienced 3 plus 5 plus or 10 plus years experienced so that is one reason we can learn something good from his entrepreneurial journey and then you can look at like how you can build your career further and how you can contribute something good to our country there are many things happening in our space right we are moving towards chip manufacturing so how you can visualize your career development and then i want you to understand the power of engineer i personally feel like only engineers and entrepreneurs can transform the industry only engineers and entrepreneurs can transform the industry so i want to share his entrepreneurial journey with you dr morris chang did his bachelor's and masters in mechanical engineering in 1952 and 1953 in mit and without obtaining his phd he left mit he tried hard but it didn't happen and he started his career at texas instruments in 1958 he worked there for 25 years so he went through promotions after 3 years he was promoted as manager considering his contribution ti thought like okay why don't we support him to get his phd so he got his phd in electrical engineering from stanford university he was a hardcore engineer he worked at ti for more than 25 years he became vice president and he was responsible for the entire business worldwide business for ti and then later on he left ti he went back to taiwan he was part of some organizations small companies and then he was also part of non profit organizations for some time and then in 1987 he founded tsmc taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company and today tsmc is one of the world's most profitable foundry so he transformed the semiconductor industry in taiwan and because of his contribution taiwan has become more valuable for the world today taiwan is popular for its expertise in chip manufacturing we all depend on tsmc that's the kind of transformation he achieved through tsmc now look at this tsmc has become so popular because of that taiwan has become popular because of that us is more interested to protect taiwan and that's good for taiwan now you would have heard about like the conflict which is happening between india and china then 
it's time for us to think like how we are going to ma make India also valuable, valuable, very similar to Taiwan. It's time for you engineers to think like how you can contribute to our community and country. Big things are happening in our country. We are talking about building ecosystem for chip manufacturing. Then what can you do for that? Don't wait for things to happen. It's going to take some time, maybe five years, maybe 10 years. But why we need to be idle? We are well known for our expertise in design services, right? Many people like you also, you are ambitious of creating your own services startup. What I really want to say is think beyond services. It's time for us to think beyond services. We need to think more about fabulous IP ecosystem. Together, it includes me, it includes everyone, the experts from the industry, Mr. Vijay, Mr. Chandrasekhar, and all you engineers, together, how we can build fabulous IP ecosystem. I think this kind of transition is going to be healthy. Design services to fabulous IP ecosystem, then fabulous IP to chip manufacturing. Why we need to wait for 10 years? Let's not waste our time. Let's create all kinds of IPs. Maybe we don't really need to look at the existing IPs. Synopsis is there. They are providing good IPs. It's time for us to think about new things. There are new things are happening like matter. Matter 1.0, why it matters. You know, that protocol is required for home automation. There are new things are happening. It's time for us to build IP ecosystem. This is going to be naturally possible to us because we have got good expertise in product design. Whether it is design or verification, you all know like various things design methodologies, verification methodologies, different kinds of languages, and protocol knowledge, then can you think of becoming entrepreneur? Would you be the next Maurice Chang for India? It's possible. If you are going to be the next Maurice Chang for India, I think we are going to have amazing future. This is what I really wanted to share with you all. Right? Only engineers and entrepreneurs can transform the industry. Please remember this. And once again, I want to take this opportunity to thank you all. Thanks for taking your time and attending this event. Thank you.